Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about capacitor in series and capacitor in, in parallel, including the uh, charge division theorem and the voltage division theorem for capacitors. Okay, so let's have first the capacitor which are connected in series or series connected capacitor. So we have here our diagram. So we have three capacitors connected in series. So C1, C2, and C3. Each of them has all has have their own voltages. So we have A1, uh, A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3. No? So because they're connected in series, we could also get our uh, total capacitance or equivalent capacitance, which will be given by this formula. So the total capacitance is equal to 1 over C1 over 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 or the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals of our uh, capacitors connected in series. No? So basically this is similar to uh, resistors connected in parallel. So for this circuit no? or for this uh, series connected capacitors, no? the charge no? the charge is equal throughout the circuit. So meaning the charge that is flowing on is uh, C1, C2, and C3 are equal. Then the sum of the voltage drops no, is equal to the voltage source or the total voltage. Okay. Then we will go to voltage division for capacitors connected in series. No. So we have here our two capacitors connected in series. Okay. So for this one, we could say that uh, we could apply the voltage division theorem for capacitors connected in series no? it is similar to the uh, to the voltage division theorem on our resistors no so for this one for example if we are going to get a sub 1 here no a sub 1 so we just say that a sub 1 is equal to the total voltage or the voltage supply then c2 which is the capacitor here no? probably with c1 c2 over the sum of the two capacitors so c1 plus c2 now if we're going to solve for e sub 2 for the voltage on our capacitor 2 so we could have that one as e sub t c1 over c1 plus c2 so this will be the formula no? for getting each of the voltages on uh, capacitors, no? two capacitors connected in series or the, we could call that one as voltage division showing for capacitors connected in series. So the, the technique for this one, so this is only applicable for two capacitors connected in series. If, if for instance, no, there are three capacitors connected no, in series, so you uh, create an equivalent circuit in which there are the the two of the capacitors will be uh, will be um, will be reduced no to its equivalent capacitance so there, there, then we will have two cap capacitors now and you could still apply the voltage division theorem okay next we have parallel connected capacitors so here we have three capacitors connected in parallel with a voltage supply so th those capacitors are c1 c2 and C3, then you have the voltage drop A1, A2, and A3. Then, so each for each of this one, so to get the total capacitance, no, if we are going to get the total capacitance, so our total capacitance no, is equal to the sum of all the capacitance. So C1 plus C2 plus C3. So this is just so this is just like um, capacitors, uh, no, like resistors connected in series. Then the voltages, no, of course, the voltages is equal. No? So we have here A sub 1 is equal to A sub 2 is equal to A sub 3. And the one that is um, sub here are the charge. No? So our Q sub T is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Now, we're in. Okay, so our this is will be our 
q sub t we have here our q sub 1 here will be our q sub 2 and here will be our q sub 3 okay so that is uh, the principles of capacitors connected in parallel so similar to capacitors connected in series okay next we have the charge division theorem for capacitors connected in parallel now for this one if we are going to get you no know, to get the the charge you no know, on each of the branch of this capacitor for example we are going to get q1 and q2 so we just lab our first the capacitance here this will be our c1 and this will be our c2 so for that one so our q sub t will be equal to so oh no, not q sub t but q sub 1 so q sub 1 will be equal to here q sub t then your your c1 then c1 plus c2 so this for the next one also for q sub 2 so this will be qt c2 c1 plus c2 so that is how we are going to use the charge division theorem for capacitors connected in parallel so this is applicable to two capacitors connected in parallel if you want to use this one for three or more capacitors so you just reduce your your circuit into two capacitors connected in parallel by getting the equivalent no? the equivalent capacitance of the other uh, capacitors which are connected in parallel okay so we have here the energy stored in a charge capacitor so so the energy is the work no the, 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 the w so this is uh, we just put here with the legend no? where w equals the energy stored so this will be the unit for this one will be joule no then our c will be our capacitance okay the unit for this one is in farad our e will be our voltage no so this will be our voltage no voltage across the voltage across in which the unit will be volts and our q will be our charge accumulated so the charge that is stored on our capacitor accumulated in which the unit will be coulomb no? okay. so for if we are given with the capacitance and the voltage so we just have that one to get the energy stored we have that one half times the capacitance times the square of the energy if the given is charge and the voltage so we could have that one as uh, the energy is equal to one half times the charge and the voltage if the given is charge and capacitance so the energy stored will be equal to one half um, q squared over c so all of these no are just the equivalent uh, formula with this one or these two are just the equivalent formula for this one if you are going to substitute the 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 relation no, between uh, between uh, voltage charge and capacitance no? because we know that uh, that capacitance no? capacitance is equal to the ratio of our charge and the voltage so this uh, this other formula are derived by using this relationship here okay next we will have the elastance no? so elastance is the reciprocal of our capacitance no? so s is the elastance in which the unit is also the reciprocal of farad which is the rough uh, so c is our capacitance no? in which the unit is farad okay so now we will have some example no so a capacitor is charged at 0 
watt second of energy no watt second of energy at a voltage of 48 volts so what is the capacitance okay so solution okay so we know that one joule is equal to one watt second no? okay so with that we could say that 0 0.23 watt second is equal to one joule because uh, our our work must be in joule the unit for that one must be in joule according to the formula so we need to find the capacitance no so using the formula so we have uh, the work is equal to one half times the capacitance times the energy squared no so we use this formula because the given are the work done and the voltage and we are going to get the capacitance so by manipulating our formula so we could say that um, c is equal to 2w over a squared so our w is 0 0.23 joule then our voltage is 48 volts we just square that one so we will now have our capacitance so by using our calculator here we have our calculator so we have 2 times 0 0.23 then divide by 48 squared and our answer is so this will be 0 0.0019 so we just push our in so that we could have this one in scientific notation or engineering notation so this will, that would be equivalent to 199.65 microfarads so we have 199.65 microfarad and this now will be our answer no, for this problem no? so this will be our answer okay another example so a 200 uh, 20 sorry for that a 20 microfarad capacitor is charged by a 12 volt battery so what is the stored energy in the capacitor okay so we have our solution no? okay so our given so our um, capacitance is equal to 20 microfarad so we just have that one as in farad no 20 so micro that is 10 to the power of 6 farad then our voltage is equal to 12 volts no so we are given with the capacitance and the voltage so we will use the formula the formula w is equals to one half c e squared no? so we have one half times our capacitance is 20 times 10 to the power of 6 farad and our voltage is equal to 12 volt squared okay so we could now have our work no? or our energy so we have one half that will be 20 times 10 is the power of negative 6 times 12 squared so we will have 1.44 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule. So we have 1.44 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule. No? And this will be our answer. Okay. So next example. Okay. So the result of capacitance C1 equal which is equal to 6 microfarad and c2 which is unknown which are connected in series is 3 microfarad no? so their equivalent capacitance is 3 microfarad so capa capacitor c2 in microfarad is blank so we need to find the the capacitance of our c2 okay so they are connected in series okay so we will have here our equivalent 
diagram here, no? Our circuit. Okay. So we have two capacitors connected in connected in series, no? So this will be our uh, C1 here. So this will be our C2. So we need to solve the value of C2 given that our CT, no, our, our equivalent capacitance is equal to 3 microfarad and our C1 is 6 microfarad. So C2 will be unknown. No? So the equivalent capacitance no, is equal to 1 over 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. No? So simplifying this formula, so we could have all the, this one no, using the LCD. So that will be C1 plus C2 over C1 times C2. No? Then using the reverse, no? inverse of that one, so we will have C1, C2 over C1 plus C2. Okay, so we just transpose this one to the other side of the equation. So we could have, um, we just put here a, what is that one? Okay. So we will have CT times C sub 1 plus C sub 2 is equal to C1 times C2. Then substituting the uh, the given. So we just drop the microfarad because the givens are all microfarad no? to make our uh, solution easier. So that we will have now 3 for our total capacitance. Then we'll have 6 plus C2 is equal to 6 times C2. So we'll have 18 plus 3 C2 is equal to 6 C2. So transpose this side to the other side of the equation. So we will have 18 is equal to 6 C2 minus 3 C2. So 18 is equal to 3 C2. No? Then divide both sides by 3. So our C2 will be equivalent to 6. And because we draft the we draft the microfarad, so we just bring back the microfarad. And this now will be our answer. Okay, next question. No? So three capacitors of 6, 15, and 12 microfarad respectively are connected in series. So what is the maximum voltage that can be supplied to the combination if the voltage across any of three capacitors must not exceed 100 volts? Okay, so we need to have here our solution no? okay so we have a circuit no let me just draw our circuit no? okay. so a circuit in which three capacitors are connected in series no okay so we have here our capacitor Here another capacitor so this will be our C1 which is equivalent to 16 microfarad this will be our C2 which is equivalent to 15 microfarad this will be our C3 which is equivalent to 12 microfarad then we have here our E sub T no? So each of them also has their own voltage drops. No? We have here our E sub 1, E sub 2, and E sub 3. So we need to find the, the voltage, no? the voltage here, that so that the, the voltage drop across each of the capacitor, no? the voltage drop across each of our capacitors here so our a a1 a2 and a3 none of that voltage drop will exceed 100 volts our maximum will be 100 volts 
no for this one you could say no by the principle of um, um capacitors connected in series that the the, the maximum voltage drop will be given to the capacitance which has the uh, the uh, the smallest value you no know? so for this one c3 you no know? c3 here so our c3 will have the 100 volts you no know? so we could say that our e sub 3 you no know? so our e sub 3 is equal to 100 volts okay so we need to find our e sub t you no know? so we could use uh, the the principle of uh, voltage division uh, theorem for this one so but because the this these are three capacitors connected in series so we need first to simplify our c sub 1 and c sub 2 into an equivalent capacitance no so for this one no? we need to okay. need first to get the equivalent uh, get the equivalent capacitance for this one so we could call that one as um, C T sub one. You no, know? okay. So our C T sub one. Okay. So our C T sub one is equal to uh, one over one over C one plus one over C two. So we could have that one no? with the previous example. So that will be equal to c1 c2 over c1 plus c2 so we could have this one as 16 microfarad times 15 microfarad over 16 microfarad plus 15 microfarad okay so we just use our calculator okay. so we have 16 16 microfarad we should use a parenthesis no? 16 microfarad then we have 15 microfarad over 16 16 microfarad plus 15 microfarad Okay, so we will have so seven point seventy four. No? So our C T sub one is equal to so our, our is equal to seven point is that one calculator. 7.74 so we have 7.74 microfarad okay so now we will use our voltage division theorem so first we will create the equivalent diagram now no? okay. so this we, I use a resistor so capacitor another capacitor here okay so this will be our CT sub 1, which is equivalent to 7.74 microfarad. We have here our C3, which is equal to 12 microfarad. And our voltage drop for this one is equal to 100 volts. And this will be our AT. No? So using our voltage division theorem, no? so we could just say no? that we need to get our ET. No? So we have here our A3, no? E sub 3. No? So A sub 3 is equal to this one, the opposite, the, the opposite or A sub 3, which is um, CT sub 1. Then we multiply that one by our voltage source over CT sub 1 plus C3. Now solving for our A sub T or our total voltage. No? So A sub T is equal to so cross multiply multiply so we have a3 times ct sub 1 plus c3 over ct sub 1 okay so substituting our given so we have 100 volts 
times 7.74 microfarad plus 12 microfarad over 12 microfarad. So our total voltage or the voltage of the source will be equal now to have our calculator here. So we have 100 times. So maybe I just input the last answer now. So this one. Okay, so we call A. So we have 100. Then calling back our A, which is this value, plus 12 times 10 to the power of negative 6 over we call A. No? So our answer now will be equal to 255 volts. No? So our answer, our voltage source will be 255 volts. So this is now our answer. Okay. Okay, so next question. Three capacitors of 20, 10, and 15 microfarad are connected in series across a 100 volt supply. So find the voltage across the 10 microfarad capacitor. Okay, so for this one, I will not use the voltage division theorem, but I will use the, the, tradi the traditional, which we are going to get the total charge, and, the, and so we could now get the voltage drop on each okay so we just have first our solution okay solution so now we will have the diagram no okay we have here our diagram So this will be our C1. So we will use another color here. C1, which is 20 microfarad. C2 is equal to 10 microfarad. And C3 is equal to 15 microfarad. Okay, then we will have our voltage here, E T, which is equal to 100 volts. Then we will have our voltage drops, no? so plus minus E sub 1, then plus minus E sub 2, then plus minus A sub 3, okay? Then we have our charges, no? Okay, charge, so this will be, we will have another color for this one, orange, okay? So this will be our QT. Then we have a charge flowing to our capacitor here, which is Q sub 1. This will be Q sub 2. And this will be Q sub 3, in which, because they are in series, so they are just equal. Huh? Okay? So, we now first solve for our total charge, in which the formula for the total charge, okay, so, CT, so this will be equal to 1 over 1 over C sub 1 plus 1 over C sub 2 plus 1 over C sub 3. Okay, so it's just substitute the given. So we will have 1 over C sub 1 which is 20 microfarad plus 1 over C sub 2 is 10 microfarad plus 1 over C sub 3 which is 15 microfarad. So we just input all of that in our calculator. No? Okay, so we have our calculator here. So we have 1 over 1 over 20 microfarad plus 1 over 10 microfarad plus 1 over 15 microfarad. It will be equal to 3 over 
6500 so we just have that one in micro by by clicking our ink you know? so that will be 4.62 so we just store that one on a so that is 4.62 micro farads. So this will be equal to 4.62 micro farad okay so getting now our q q sub t no? so going back to the the relationship no between capacitance charge and um and voltage you know? so we know that capacitance is equal to charge over the voltage so if, if we are going to get the total capacitance so this will be our total charge and this will be our voltage source or our total voltage so solving now for our, our charge so q sub t or the total charge is equal to the total capacitance times our total voltage no? so we will now have 4.62 microfarad okay times the total voltage which is 100 volts so our q sub t is equal to using our calculator so we have just put no our uh, total charge the answer for total charge on a you know? so we have just to recall that one you know? so we have here recall a so that will be that one no? times 100 so our total charge is equal to so 400 so our total charge is equal to 461.54 no, 461.54 microcoulomb. So we just store that one on B. Okay. So this is equivalent to I, I put um, so 4.61.54. So 461.54 microcoulomb. Okay. So we know that our Q sub T is also equal to our Q sub 3 here. So the charge on the third capacitor or our capacitor C3. So in getting the voltage drop on capacitor C3, which is A3, no? so we could use the relationship again between capacitance, voltage, and charge. No? So we could have this one. So C is equal to Q over E. So this will be C3, Q3, and A3. So just manipulating this one to solve for E sub 3. So we have Q sub 3 over C sub 3. So we have for our Q sub 3, that is just equal to our QT. So that is 461.54 microcoulomb over our C sub 3 is equal to 15 no 15 microfarad but for this instance i just review the problem so we are not supposed to get a sub 3 but a sub 2 so a sub 2 because the problem states 10 microfarad so it's okay so we just um check our um our solutions here so this will be as q sub 2 no? so like i said the charges flowing across a series capacitor circuit is equal. So our Q sub T is also equal to our Q sub 2. So this one is will all will all become Q sub 2 here. And we'll be solving for uh, we, we are all solving for uh, E, no? E sub 2, the voltage drop across the 10 microfarad capacitor. So C sub 2, Q sub 2. E sub 2, this will be E sub 2, Q sub 2, C sub 2. So our E sub 2 is equal to 461.54 microcoulomb over 10 microfarad. Okay? So using here our calculator. So we have 
uh, no, I just store this one on B. No, recall B. Then we have 10 microfarad. So if you want to check if you have really stored this value in B, so you, you could just uh, click on the calc no? and you will see the value. No? So for 461.54. So just uh, click the equal sign and we will now have 46.15 no? 46 for 15 volts so our a sub 2 is equal to 46.15 volts and this is our answer okay next so three condensers no 6, 10, and 15 microfarad are like I would. We have a typo error here. No? So this R, not A. No? So, so are connected in series across a 200 volt supply. So if the condensers are disconnected, how much energy is, how much energy no? can be, is, how much energy is? So, Maybe this is not easier, but just can be charged. You know? Can be charged. Condensers provide if uh, connected across each other will with like polarity. So here we are going to get the total energy you know, which are stored in our in our capacitors. You no. Know? <clears throat> Okay, so we need to find the total energy which are stored in our capacitor. So how we are going to do that is first, we need to find for our total charge and our total capacitance. So we could also get the total capacitance. Oh no, because the, the, the circuit is already disconnected. So therefore, we will have to use our total uh, charge and our total capacitance. Okay, so first we will draw the equivalent circuit. So solution here. So we have, oh, this will be our voltage source. Okay, so our capacitor 1, capacitor 2, and capacitor 3. So this will be our C1, no? which is equivalent to 6 microfarad. So our C2 is equivalent to 10 microfarad. And our C3 is equivalent to 15 microfarad. Okay. Then we will have here our supply. No? So our E sub T is equal to 200 volts. Then... So this will be our Q sub T here, our total charge. Okay, so this will be our Q sub T. No? So for our CT, no? so to get our CT, no? our total capacitance, our total capacitance uh, CT, is just equal to 1 over 1 plus C1 plus 1 plus over C2 plus 1 over C3. So our CT is equal to 1 over 1 over 6 microfarad plus 1 over 10 microfarad plus 1 over 15 microfarad. Okay? So using our calculator, so we have 1 over 1 over 6 microfarad, then plus 1 over 10 microfarad, plus 1 over 15. 15 
15 microfarad. So, this will be equal to so 3 microfarad. So, our total capacitance is equal to 3 microfarad. So, getting now our uh, total charge. So, our total charge will be equal to our, so we just have first the relationship. No? So, we have here the total capacitance is equal to the total charge over the voltage supply or the total voltage. So, solving for the total charge, so this will be equal to the total capacitance times the total voltage. So, our total charge is equal to our CT is 3 microfarad. Then, our voltage supply is 200 volts. So, our total charge is so we have 3 microfarad times 200 volts. This will be equivalent to 600, 600. So 600 micro coulomb. So to get now our total uh, total energy given the cap the charge and the capacitance, no? the charge and the capacitance, we could say that our total energy or total energy stored is equals to W one half. Mm. This will be our total charge here over our total capacitance. So the square of our total charge over the total capacitance. So we have one half. So times 600 microfarad squared over our CT is 3 microfarad squared. No? So for this one, this will be a bracket no? because we have here the parentheses. So our work is equal to, so using our calculator, so we have 1 half and times 600 microfarad squared over 3 microfarad. So this will be equal to, so 3 over 53 or 0 0.06 joule. So we have, our answer is 0 0.06 joule. And this now will be our answer no? okay next question three capacitors a b and c are charged as follows so 10 microfarad is 100 volts then we have 15 microfarad is 150 volts and uh, c 25 microfarad is 200 volts they are connected in parallel with terminals of like polarity together. So the voltage across the combination is blank. Okay. So we need to find the voltage across the combination. No? Okay. So first we are going to find for this one because uh, we know that this is uh, parallel connected. Capacitor, so we just have here our diagram first, no, to have a better picture of our um, of our circuit. So we have here three capacitors connected in series. Okay. Okay, so we are going to find the voltage across the combination or our voltage supply here no? because that is the voltage across the connection of the parallel capacitors. So our A, so our A is 10 microfarad. No? Then the voltage drop for this one is so 100 volts. No? Our B is 15 microfarad. 
and the voltage drop across this one is 150 volts no? so this charge at 150 volts and c no? so c is 25 microfarads and its voltage charge voltage is 200 volts okay so apart from the given we could now solve for our q1 q2 and q3 no? so how we are going to solve for our q1 q2 and q3 no? so by the relationship of parallel connected capacit or relationship between capacitance charge and voltage no so we could say that the q1 is equal to um, c1 times e1 or for this instance instance the charge uh, voltage of our capacitor so this would be q1 q2 is equals to c2 e sub 2 and q3 is equals to c3 E sub 3. So if you are from this one also, we could now get our total charge at total charge or Q sub T. So our Q sub T, okay, so our Q sub T is equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus. Q3. So substituting that one here, so we have C1 E sub 1 plus C2 E sub 2 plus C3 E sub 3. So our C1 is equal, is equal to 10 microfarad. Then times that will be 100 volts plus C2 will be 15. No? 15 microfarad times 150 volts then plus 25 microfarad times 200 volts so we could now solve for our total charge so using our calculator so this will be equal to 10 to the power of negative 6 so we may have 100 plus 15 times 150 plus 25 to the power of negative 6 times 200 okay so our total charge is equal to so that is 8250 microcoulomb okay so we have 8250 micro column so for also we need to have our total capacitance in which this is just this is just parallel capacitor so this will be a plus b plus c no? so that will be 10 microfarad plus 15 microfarad plus 25 microfarad so our total capacitance is equal to so 10 plus 15 plus 25 so this is equal to 50 no 50 microfarad so from this one we could now get our now get our total voltage so our e sub t is equal to q t over c t no so we will have 8250 micro column over uh, 50 microfarad so using our calculator okay so this will be 8250 times 10 to the power of negative 6 okay. then we have 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 of course we could just cancel the micro no? so that will be equal to 165 Volts. So our total voltage is equal to 165 volts. And this is now our answer. Okay? So our last problem. Now two capacitors, uh, 200 and... Maybe I will have a little problem for this one. 
So 200. So and so we have here D. 800 nanofarad respectively are connected in parallel. The combination is then connected in series with another two capacitors of a of, of C and 600 microfarad, no? which are connected in parallel. If the total of the setup is 50 nanofarad, so we need to de determine the C. So we need to determine the capacitor which is also in parallel with our six, uh, 600 uh, nanofarad. Okay. So solution. Okay. Solution. So for this one, we need to create first our uh, equivalent diagram. No. So we have here our. Why am I always thinking a resistor? No. So this will be. Okay, so we have here the equivalent CT for this one, no? Okay, so our equivalent capacitance, no? so our CT is equal to 500 nanofarad. Okay, so if this will be our 200 and 800 microfarad, so this will be our C1, which is equivalent to 800 nanofarad then our c2 is oh no we could have that one as the 200 no? so just write first the first uh, capacitance then we have 800 nanofarad so this will be our c3 which is um, 600 no? nanofarad and this will be our c so we need to find our c so first we need to simplify this one no? So, in simplifying this one, for example, we need to we have to call this one as okay, become erased now. Okay, so we need to call this one this one as C A and this one also as C B. Okay. So for our CA, so CA is just equals to C1 plus C2, and this will be equal to 200 nanofarad plus 800 nanofarad, which is equal to 1000 nanofarad. No? So we could now have our equivalent circuit. Okay. Our equivalent circuit will now become is CA which is equivalent to 100 nanofarad and this will be our CB and we have here the equivalent the equivalent capacitance of 500 nanofarad so first we need to solve for CB no? so that we could solve our C so for this one this is series parallel capacitors so our CT is just equal to CA times CB over CA plus CB. No? So cross multiplying this one. So we have CT, CA plus CB is equal to CA times CB. Now substituting the given. So we just drop our nanofarad here. So we have 500 times 1000 plus CB is equal to 1000 times CB. So we have 100 time, uh, 500 times 1000, so that would be 1, 2, 3, that would be 500,000. So just check. So 
So that will be equal to 500,000. So we have 500,000 plus 500 CB is equal to 1,000 CB. Then we just transpose this one to the other side of the equation. So we have 500,000 CB is equal to 1,000 CB minus 500 CB. So this, this one have no CB. So we have 500,000 is equal to 500 CB. Divide both sides by 500. Okay. So divide both sides by 500. So that will be equal to 1,000 CB. So our CB is 1,000 um, nanofarad. No? But you know also that for this one, so our CB is equal to our C3 plus C. Now solving for C, so we have CB uh, minus C3. No? So we have 1,000 nanofarad minus 600 nanofarad. No? So our C is equal to, so we have 100 minus 600 is equal to 400 nanofarad. And this now will be our answer. Okay? So that will be our last example. I hope you understand something in this video about uh, capacitor which are connected series and parallel encoding the voltage division theorem for uh, capacitors in series and the charge division theorem for capacitors in parallel. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and as always, enjoy learning.